Hey folks, so I thought I would jump on here real quick and, and do a video about one of the one of the items that we have uh, used as RVing full time and we love it and so I thought I would share about it. Alright, so we are got this is a big day for us because we got something that we've been wanting to get for a while. We are gonna get it out the car and we are gonna get it set up. Let's do it. Dun dun dun! One of the things that we have seen other RVers use when we first got started and then we saw how awesome it was to the point where we wanted to get our own and that was a quick set uh, clamp. I wanted to do an unboxing but we're going to have to do a half unboxing. It's already half off. Oh. Where's the other half? In the car. Are you coming? So we'll do what's called a half unboxing. We'll get half the box off. Maybe not. Katie, before we're gonna pull the bottom off of this. Okay. More. There. Oh, there we go. There Unboxing. Alright. So that's kind of a nice big old bag. That's taller than I thought. It's over six foot. So here it is, all how it comes. Some people were saying apparently that they thought when they got it, it was inside out. Yeah. So it's, they said it's not, but when it comes, it is folded in outside in. So okay. the inside, so when you put it out, it all you'll see that the clamp all folds open. So we'll see. So you're doing it on paper. That's how you put it. Scaling's up. It's made by Clam. It's basically a pop-out, like an octagon-shaped um, tent that just pops out. They advertise it can pop out in less than in less than like 50 seconds, 40 seconds, something like that. It's really quick. Super simple. Everything just pops out, pops in. So I um, thought it would take some time to do a video about it. We've had it now for a little over four months or so, and so we went got it. And since we've had it, what we thought about it give you some uh, things I've liked about it and a couple of me a thing or two that we don't. Uh, just kind of give you a review. All right, so the clam that we bought, this is the, the quick set clam, and this is the 12 and a half, 12.5 version. This is six walls. And it's about like the as far as the farthest points there from wall to wall, or point to point is about 12 and a half. They have a, a smaller one and in different versions, but this is the one we went with. I wanted the biggest one they had. Um, and it feels really spacious in here. So this version here has the has the attachable walls, like I said, where it has the window that you can open up or you can roll up the whole the whole side. So they have a, the version of this where they have the walls are detached. All the walls come separate. They're detachable. So instead of rolling them up like we are, they just come separate sheets and you can just put them on, Velcro them in. Still pretty easy and quick. I purposely, personally chose this one because I didn't want to have to have all the walls separate at a different location. I'm just tired of having stuff everywhere. So this is all stays together. They just roll up, it's untie and they fall down. And it, I just think it would be a little easier, personally. But we also have one with the top open. Our friends have that one with the screen on top. It's a cool version. We just chose to go with this one, so. Well, they have these little, uh, stand right here. Basically this is what does is pop what comes down here and creates a stabilization for the front door. Oh I put a stick down inside there. Oh there it goes. It's a little pocket for it to lay in. Boop. See the little thing it goes in Vic, the little pocket it lays in. So they also I didn't realize that they make actually a custom built base for it. That Velcro is all the way up on the bottom, oh, cool. so it goes outside and it, it tucks up on the inside along here all the way around so it completely keeps the water from, oh, it seals it off. Alright guys, so I just want to let you know, what I, on this plan, 
the wig eye, they, they have a floor in it, like I told you guys about, but what I ended up doing was, I went to actually Lowe's and found a cheap uh, piece of indoor outdoor carpet. And what I did, I just cut it to fit in here in the, in the octagon style. And everybody's coming and going, so it's kind of noisy. But and then I just put a tarp underneath it. It keeps the water and the moisture from coming through and it keeps the carpet pretty much dry. And we've enjoyed that as far as just putting, I was gonna initially, I initially put one of those indoor outdoor mats. But I ended up putting this piece of carpet in there for now. Um, and we've enjoyed it. I don't know if I'll keep it for long term, but it's been, it's made it feel a little bit more cozy in there. Um, all right, so this is our setup we have in here. Um, it's worked out really well. We just have the chairs kind of around the perimeter. Like I said, I got a piece of carpet to cut in for the floor. Actually, like it's an indoor outdoor rubber type carpet, both thin stuff. And then just a, a rug that I got. And so we might just feel like home. We love this extra space out here because it just feels like a, another part of like a living room or something to sit in. Um, we do have a table here. It's kind of got all of our stuff on it right now, just there. But a oh, utility table, you can do stuff with a television on it or different kinds of different things. And then chairs kind of throughout. Um, using our Yeti as a cooler slash coffee table. Um, but it has worked out really well. So anyway, that's what we have found. But we really used it quite a bit. Kids use it all summer for different things. So, And I will say in the summer it gets pretty hot sometimes in here so we can open it up. I'm working on rolling up all the different um, walls and then unzip the walls. Use the zip on the sides. And then you can just pull it and tie it up. So it's pretty quick. It's a little easier to tie it than to roll up with two people but I've pretty much mastered how to do it myself now. So pretty easy. does allow some ventilation to come through a little bit, but it does get really hot in the summer. I will say that, um, so it's not that we have a fan. I usually have a box fan here. I just kind of blow in here to help a little bit, but uh, to me, when the clam really shines is in the cooler weathers, in the spring, the fall, or even the winter, because it holds the heat in here. Uh, even if it's really cold, 30 plus, 30 some degrees outside, it can be really, it can be warmer in here um, and make a great space. So summer months can be a little challenging, but still keeps the bugs out if you want. But we love this clam. There, there are some things to it that uh, we've learned over time to be a little challenging. Um, one of those um, I will just share is in, in, in honesty as far as our review. So we've had the clam about um, four or five months, going on five months now. It's done really well. It's hold, held up pretty well. It has faded quite a bit, which I'll show you in the sun. All right, as far as the exterior of the clam here, I was going to tell you, we've had it in the sun, like I said, full time for about four or five months now. And so it has faded quite a bit. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but from where it used to be, like here's the, like behind here would be the darker color. I don't know, the shade's kind of making it, but you can see here the, the color difference there maybe. But it has faded quite a bit. Um, but it's still held up pretty well. This down here would be a pretty obvious place to show where it has the difference color there, the dark. And then the light, this is the rain flap. As you can see it's been, it's faded quite a bit on these sides here. Um, these straps, you can kind of see the difference there. Where this is where it used to be than when we first got it and now it's, so it does take fade quite a bit in the sun that we've noticed. It still seems to be holding up pretty well. But there's another difference you can tell from faded. But still holding up. It has taken the sun pretty hard um, and faded it quite a bit on the outside, but it still seemed to be held up pretty well. Um, on, the, on the only thing, like the downside that I saw, which I think would be a positive too, and that is like when it's really windy, it's, it's made to be able to hold, uh, hold up to pretty significant winds. All right, it's getting crazy out here. But, however, that also, that while that's a good thing because it's flexible, it pops in, you know, everything is really like the ceiling part, it's just super flexible and all that, it's so it can take with the wind really well. However, when the wind gets really strong, I've had a problem with the ceiling popping down, like this. 
and then I'll have to just come out here and lift it back up like that and push it up. It's pretty easy, but the problem my concern would be is if it ever popped down in a rainstorm um, and they started collecting rain, it could damage the clams, so you gotta keep an eye on that. That'd be my only thing to look out for in weather-wise. Other than that, it tends to handle the, um, the wind really well. You never know, all of a sudden. Sucked into space. Hopefully it'll pick, calm down and clear back off. The most of it. Ish. Just had our first quick rain, heavy rainstorm. Trying to check, see what the clam would do. So it, we moved around, but it did fine. <laughs> so anyway, so far so good. Checking to see how it is inside, but it was flowing like crazy. Supposedly they have a nice drip edge here, so it keeps the water on the outside of the clam. Looks like it worked pretty well. So, yeah. It's not too bad, I reckon. Let's check out on the inside. Um, as far as when the rain came in, maybe these rain flaps worked really good for the most part, but right here where the zipper comes in the door, right here where this, the water tends to follow that down and can collect. It does kind of wear out, but water will also come in under the carpet. So I actually just have these mats, waterproof mats, I put right here at the entrance. And that keeps the water from going out and it keeps the water from coming inside the clam, it keeps the carpet in there and that space in there a little bit drier. So that's something I learned. Yeah, everything went well. Everything is water. That was a weird tight. storm. It went from nothing to something. Yeah, it went pretty quick. This is one of those quick pop ups and blew through, and hopefully that's about the size of it. Still tends to keep up with the weather pretty much. I mean, if it's pouring rain and just blowing like crazy, we'll get a little bit of water coming, kind of like a normal tent. It's not waterproof, and so the water does keep the majority of the rain out and all that, but it will bead through or come through on the seams or stuff like that. We've learned, but you know, it's, it's not, I don't put stuff in there that I don't want to get could possibly get wet or whatever so as long as it's staked on the because it has portions on the ground here at each point and then also tie downs on the side so you can see here where, where the straps down on the outside it has anchors down here on the ground there my shadows in the way but anchors there and then it anchors on the sides here and that's what keeps it in for me i actually put these carabiners so when i want to take the walls off here. I just have this, it's already anchored to the ground, so I just unclip it like this. And I don't want to put it back, just clip it, it's ready to go. I don't have to untie anything, I just unclip it, drop it. And when that's all been strapped down, we haven't had any issues except for just that ceiling popping down um, sometimes. So, uh, but other than that, we haven't had, really had that too many complaints. We really enjoyed it. We have to have, I have these lights that I got from Walmart, these LED multicolored lights that we just picked up and it's fun because they, they turn on and add some nice lighting in here. There's multicolors here on the lights that I got or you can just get a different fades and it does different things. So it's pretty cool. We've enjoyed that as well. But overall I think still we really enjoyed this clam and being able to use it. So since we've had it, we got it in the summer and so you know, it does get a little warm in it, but as far as adding an extension to our house, uh, like another, another room, if you will, it's, it's been really nice and we've really enjoyed it. It has been a great addition to us and something that we would recommend. All right, folks, so there's a review of the clam. Uh, let us know if you guys have ever had one or what your thoughts are on it. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments um, below. I'll try to answer that. Um, 
If you also like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel. We're constantly putting out a video each week and kind of showing you a, a vlog, if you will, of our life and our adventures on the road as a full, as a full time family of five. Uh, but anyway, this video was about the clam. I hope it was helpful and, ta and taught you a couple things or at least give you uh, some thoughts on what, what my opinion of clam is. Get you out if you are curious about getting one yourself. They do sell them in different places and one of those is Amazon. Now we are affiliate links of Amazon. If you would click if you click the link below you can it'll take you to the Amazon there and you can um, pick one up for yourself. <music>